Hey, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Lycan AK here, back with another Battlefield video for you guys today. I'm pumping up the Battlefield content for you guys in hype for the new beta. Uh, I'll be back with another COD video another day, but for now, we're going to be focusing a lot on what's been released with Battlefield 1 with a whole new Gamescom trailer and also some of the gameplay shown here on screen today. Today, you guys are going to be watching uh, some gameplay that's obviously not mine. It was from the uh, Battlefield stream. Uh, you guys are going to be seeing the Battlefield 1 Sinai Desert Map, basically a 10 minute gameplay regarding the you know, horses, vehicles, new guns, and also some new elite characters. Now, we're going to be going over every single one of the aspects of the, that was shown in the gameplay today, and uh, also, go, also go over my thoughts over the whole gameplay and everything. So, first things first, you guys are looking at the horse gameplay. Obviously, you can get wrecked pretty easily if you don't know how to use the horse properly. I know I'm going to get wrecked using those things because I can't ride horses. I, I've done it before in games, and it just, I couldn't even do it in Black Ops 1, or Black Ops 2, I believe it was. If you guys remember that game, I could not ride horses. Horses. That's why I never played the campaign. No, just kidding. But regardless, you know, we see some of the guns that we've already seen in Battlefield 1 before, and as you can see, there's some horse action there, uh, some sniper gameplay here. You can, now, this map, I'm going to talk a little bit about the map first, and then I'll go into some of the other aspects that were uh, shown in this video. The map itself is called Sinai, and it's also a desert map. Now, if you do some research on uh, Battlefield 1, or not Battlefield 1, but on World War II, World War One, uh, there was some pretty cool stuff that went on during uh, Sinai Desert. Well, not really cool. Obviously, it was a whole war going on, and people were getting shot left and right, but uh, it was pretty, a pretty Pretty significant battle in uh, World War One history, and uh, the map itself, this map itself, is actually one of the biggest maps in the game. They described it as one of the biggest. Oh, well, that was a pretty good nade right there. Uh, unfortunately, you can actually road kill people with the horses, but Battlefield One. This map is actually one of the biggest maps. It has a lot of similar aspects towards the map known as uh, Silk Road in Battlefield 4. You guys have never seen me upload Silk Road. One, because I didn't really like it that much. Two, because I got wrecked. And three, because it was too freaking big. Now, this map is actually different. I can tell I'm going to like this one a lot because it's not as open as Silk Road. Silk Road, it was nothing but desert and then a bunch of hills and stuff and tanks rolling all over the place and scouts and jets would, you know, fl flourish on that map. But what what made it annoying was that there was really only one spot for infantry where you could actually just like have a fair gun battle with somebody but uh, that's just me complaining I didn't really like Silk Road that much that's why I never uploaded it on my channel that's why I always stick to uploading maps like uh, Siege of Shanghai and Operation Locker for those who play Battlefield you obviously know what I'm talking about um, but basically this map it has like a big city I guess you could say, not really big city, but big sort of town that's within the center of the map. And obviously there are the outskirts of the map where it's pretty much no man's land and you shouldn't be going out there, period. But the map itself is actually really fun. I'm really happy with the way they de designed this map. Now we're going to be talking a little bit about the vehicles here. Obviously there's going to be the same vehicles and they're going to be sh we're going to be showcasing all of that in this gameplay that's shown already. Uh, but the Behemoth, if you guys remember from the first gameplay trailer that they showed, not really trailer, but first gameplay uh, live stream that they showed, the Behemoth was a big freaking what's it called uh i guess you could say blimp uh helium blimp that was that had a bunch of guns on top of it explosive rounds and it obviously just rained hell on everybody it was ridiculous but uh this one it's actually going to be a train and the train can do some pretty serious work but it's also very fragile what i mean by that basically it's very easy to take out if you have a light tank you can almost four shot the thing and literally just destroy it but at the same time you can be destroyed by it as well. As you can see, this is one of the new uh, planes that was shown in the gameplay. It has the, I guess you could say, if you remember from Battlefield 4, if you're a jet pilot and you're familiar with the Hydra rockets, it's very, very similar to the Hydra rockets. However, it's much more accurate, in my opinion. It does a ton of damage and is capable of just absolutely annihilating uh, vehicles on the field. But it's not very good when it comes to infantry. Surprisingly, I'm actually very surprised that it's not very good at infantry. Here's one of the light tanks that's shown here. Uh, obviously, See, this light tank is going to be one of the best tanks that you guys are going to want to be going for when you uh, play this game. If you're a vehicle fan, you know, obviously a lot of people hate people that just play in vehicles. But if you're a vehicle fan, there's nothing wrong with that. This is one of the tanks that you're going to be using is the light tank. Obviously, it has a minigun that you can put on it and also a uh, the main cannon, which does the hefty amount of damage, as you see. Pistols are going to be quite good in this game. I'm very happy that the pistols... Uh, or actually worth something here. The N1911 was pretty much the only good pistol. Here's some more air action here with one of the vehicles. You can obviously repair yourself. I believe you have to hold down the square or X button if you're on PS4. Actually, no, not square. I believe it's uh, it's either circle or X. I don't remember offhand because uh, I didn't. I only played the alpha for like 
three games because I brought in a friend's a friend's account to play it. But like I said, beta is going to be on August 31st, so you guys all get a chance to try it out. Here's the train right here. This is this thing is absolutely insane. You can literally just shoot rockets across the map at people. It's it's hilarious how funny this thing is, and it can really do some serious work. Now, obviously, there is some tank drop off to this thing. Where I, what I mean by drop off is that your bullets don't go straight. Obviously, for those who play Battlefield, you already know about this, so it's nothing new to you guys at all, but your bullets do not go straight. There is bullet drop-off, meaning at range, you're going to have to arc your targets a little bit more. Uh, if you're good at that, do some calculus. But as you can see here, with the thing with the horses, uh, the horses can actually take damage, meaning you can actually kill them. You know, put a few bullets on them. Somebody call PETA. You can actually put bullets in those things, and you can actually kill them without killing the player. Now, if you kill the horse, obviously the player is going to fall off their horse. And at that point, you can pretty much just shoot them in the face and take them out as well. But as you can see here, there's I believe there is five different seats for the uh, train. One, which is the main gunner, which is the big cannon that you guys saw before. You have three MGs, which are capable of, uh, I, give, I believe they're like explosive type rounds sort of thing. And the rest are just uh, regular guns. Now... One of the things that I forgot to mention with the tank is that the big heavy tank, which holds about five or six people, is actually capable. And as you can see, here's a here's a, a bombing run made on the, uh, the 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 train, and it does some pretty serious damage. As you guys can see right there, but as you can see, he's taking some pretty serious damage. Now back to the tanks. The tank actually, and I'm not sure if it's shown in this gameplay. I didn't actually watch the whole thing. I watched like. Uh, I watched like one of the games that wasn't really in this gameplay that you're seeing right now. But one of the tanks actually, if you remember. The one of the tanks that had was a heavy tank, contained five to six people. It was actually using like regular just MGs and machine guns and everything. But in this one, it actually uses fire. It has a flamethrower attached to it. Now the main gunner seat, the driver and everything, it actually has the main gun and the tank and stuff like that. But if you're in the heavy tank, it actually has a flamethrower if you're in one of the passenger seats on the side or the back of it. That's actually pretty insane in my opinion, as you can see. Uh, it does have the first person view with the jets and everything, which is pretty cool. Um, but here as you can see, there's some more sh gameplay shown with the uh, the train. As you can see, it's on fire and everything. As it, it actually blows up and it just crashes on site. Like it doesn't. It's not like Battlefield 4 where when you destroy the building, it falls in the same spot over and over and over. No, this game it's dynamic. Everything is dynamic, and I honestly am so hyped to play this game. As you can see, there's some pretty, pretty cool stuff with the sniper there. I'm actually really excited to try out the snipers as well. I never really sniped much in Battlefield 4. One, because I'm terrible at it. Not going to lie, I'm really bad at it. Scorpius, you're going to have to teach me some lessons, bro, if you're watching this, because I don't know anything about sniping, dude. I've, if you guys noticed when I, in my previous montages, I've never put sniper clips in there. It's always been just back rages and freaking tank shots to helis and midair and whatnot. That's probably why I'm not in Nova and still in Lycan. Ha ha, hearty heart. But regardless... I hope you guys did enjoy this little gameplay trailer here. As you see, this is the tank I was talking about. As you can see, it is the heavy tank. But look on the side. It actually shows that it's flamethrowers on the side of it. So that's pretty insane. You guys can see it later on right there. Um, but also, I forgot to mention the... Uh, the elite characters. Now there are elite characters here in this game. I believe one of them is like a a huge machine gun with a shield, and you just walk around spraying people with a, a mounted machine gun, I guess. And the other one is a flamethrower. Now I'm not sure how true this is, but apparently you literally just touch people with the flamethrower, and then they just keep burning and burning and burning until they die. So that's pretty insane. It's basically like Black Ops 3, but they burn a lot slower, and you tank a ton of damage. What I mean a ton, I mean you can take two full clips of submachine guns. Let's say the guy's not missing, and you'll still survive. Here's you can see this guy riding around with the horse, and you can you can you have both a sword and a uh, I guess you could say rifle. I guess you could say. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little gameplay. It is your boy, Like an AK, signing out. Peace.